This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. Blood vessels. We now know that the heart pumps blood to transport it around the body, but how is this done? The blood passes through tunnel-like pathways known as blood vessels. These blood vessels are a network of tubes that transport blood throughout the body. They allow blood to reach deep into every tissue in the body. The arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. The walls of the arteries are made of muscle, and they also contain elastic fibers to ensure they can withstand the strong pressure created by the fast movement of blood. Veins carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart so it can be oxygenated by the lungs. To remember the difference between arteries and veins, remember arteries away, veins visit. Veins have a wider tube, called a lumen to ensure that low pressure blood can flow through. They also contain valves to ensure no backflow of blood occurs. The capillaries are tiny vessels that allow the blood to access all the tiny cells and thus, the exchange of materials. Therefore, they represent a connection between the arteries and veins. The walls of capillaries are very thin, only one cell thick, these cells are known as endothelial cells. This makes the diffusion of substances easier. Blood. We have seen how the heart pumps blood around the body, and how it helps to transport oxygen and nutrients. Now let's talk about blood itself in detail. Blood is not only a fluid, but it is also a tissue. As a fluid, it is known as fluid connective tissue. It helps in the transport of various molecules around the body including oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients and wastes. It also distributes heat in the body to maintain body temperature. Blood contains some cells that help defend the body against infection or disease-causing substances. The blood consists of different cell types. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. It also contains plasma, a pale and straw-colored fluid that forms 55% of the total blood. The remaining 45% of the blood is made up of red cells, white cells and platelets. Why don't you try our free course in A or app? Download now from where you get your apps or go to our website, hollow12.com. Red blood cells. Take a look at the structure of these red blood cells. They look like a donut or we can say they have a biconcave shape. This shape increases its surface area. Their primary role is to carry oxygen in the blood. Unlike many other cells, they don't have a nucleus. This increases their surface area which allows them to carry more oxygen to transport around the body. They do have cell organelles however, so they are not prokaryotic. Red blood cells are small and flexible so they can fit in narrow blood vessels. They also contain a pigment called hemoglobin, this pigment is what gives them a red color. The function of hemoglobin is to bind with oxygen so that it can be transported around the body. Why don't you try our free course in A or app? Download now from where you get your apps. Or go to our website, hollow12.com. White blood cells. White blood cells don't contain hemoglobin. They protect us from various disease-causing microorganisms and foreign particles. They are an important part of our immune system. There are two main types of white blood cell, the phagocyte and the lymphocyte. Phagocytes comprise 70% of all white blood cells or WBCs. They engulf or eat microorganisms and destroy them. This process is known as phagocytosis. 
These cells act as police and patrol the tissue to see if there are any harmful microorganisms nearby. Lymphocytes help defend the body in two different ways. Firstly by producing antibodies against harmful microorganisms. Secondly, they produce certain antitoxins that neutralize toxins produced by harmful microorganisms. Go to our website, hollow12.com, to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.